two words, colloquial and illiterate. Do you know they're two very different words, actually? And I'm guessing that anyone with intelligence will be able to tell you that. OK, well, that matter could be debated. Because it seems to me as if illiteracy is a word often used by some to describe those who use colloquial language. So let me put forward two questions to my audience. How many of you here use slang? And don't lie. But then how many of you will consider yourselves illiterate? Not many. Casual, <laughs> everyday, conversational. That is a definition of colloquial language. But uneducated and ignorant. That is a definition of illiteracy. So I ask you, who is literate now? Now, as we can see, there's many young people sitting among us. Many of us doing A-levels, GCSEs. But that's why I say, when I'm with my friends, those are some of the most casual times we'll ever get to experience. Some of the times where we don't have to worry about writer's intentions and effect on reader, because sometimes they're not relevant. Now, school. School. School keeps us in a box. School keeps us in an order, an order we have to follow. Inside that box, there are criteria, criteria that we have to meet each and every time. So some schools have taken it so personally that they have decided to ban slang. They ban slang because they said they fear for the future of their children. They said that they are scared when, we're walking, when we walk into a job interview, we're not going to adopt the right level of communication. So in other words, you're telling me that I'll walk into an interview and be like, oh, your blood, I beg you, man, give me this job, because obviously yeah, a man like me needs to make pee. <laughs> we're not stupid. We're really not. And I know, I understand where adults are coming from. Slang can be seen as communi a communication barrier. Fair enough. But how many adults here went to university? Please raise your hands. <coughs> now pat yourselves on the back, because that's a great achievement. But in all seriousness, how many of you had lecturers that would stand there in the front of the classroom for two hours and stand here with no facial expression whatsoever, making you using the willpower to carry on going? And another communication barrier, Shakespeare. Shakespeare used slang all the time in his plays. Words such as awesome and puke were used all the time. But did that stop him from communicating? No. He was one of the few people that I can say really turned slang into an art form. Now for me, Institutions of education should be about opportunity, inclusion, access, and success. That's why I'm just going to leave you with a statement. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, he once said that education is the most powerful, powerful weapon which you, and you, most likely you can use to change the world. So, so long as there's young people, there will always be people that are conversational, people that are casual, people that are everyday. Because you know what? Us young people are the perfect representation of colloquial language. But because we speak in a way that's not socially accepted by society, and personally I don't think ever will be, it doesn't make us uneducated, and it certainly does not make us ignorant, because you know what? Us young people, we are not illiterate.